every year, but really this year it's a little bit more important. I'm here with some of the heroes at Mold Breakers Fellowship. Yay! <laughs> and I know you can tell by the excitement there, but don't let the nighttime scene fool you. Earlier today, families have been pouring in throughout the area. More than 700 kids and 250 families have been able to receive gifts. And today, they'll find those under the Christmas tree later this week. Now, we were able to talk to one of the families earlier today who talked about this year and how it's been a challenge, especially considering their loss of employment. We believe that when you touch people's lives, uh, especially those that are less fortunate than you, uh, it helps change your city. And so during the pandemic, there are a lot of people in there struggling. They're, they're down. You know, you don't know what's going on in their life. And just helping people is important to us. And uh, we've been able to talk to people throughout the day, and you've seen some of the good work that uh, people here at Mold Breakers have been able to do. And if you are still willing and able to donate toys, you can do so at Shepherd for the Heart. For now, live in Waco, Garrett Hoddle, 25 News. Yay! <laughs>